We're back at our $1,300 storage unit. If you remember last time, we just found a safe. And today, we're gonna bust that sucker open along with find a bunch of more cool things in this unit. So let's do it. We ended part two with a total value of $3,900. So we're starting there. Let's start with this big old piece of luggage here. Whoa, come here, big boy. Let's see what's inside. It is nothing in there. What about the other little pocket? Also nothing. All right, let's open the big section. Just like that. Let's see. Oh, okay. Jordan. hey, Jordans. Nice. Hold on a second. They're dirty, but they look old. They're size nine and a half, but these might be worth something just out of vintageness. How old do you think these guys are? I have no clue. Let's see if there's this. What's the style number on these so I can look it up? 705796 101. We'll look those up. The rest of the shoes in here. Oh, there's another pair. These look old, too. Check that out. Mm -hmm. That's another old pair of Jordans right there. I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, where's the style number on this? The tag's coming off, they're so old. But the number is 768931-103. That's another one? Another pair, huh? Nice. Another pair of old Jordans. Set those right here. The rest of the shoes, there are some Nikes in there, but they're pretty worn. I'd rather just donate. Let's see what's in this guy right here. It says it's blankets. Oh, I hope it's not blankets, but. It says baby so blankets. So far, they've been pretty accurate. If they get their baby blankets, we'll make sure they get it back. They slice it, that is. Let's see. Ugh. One, two. So there's a bag in here. I'm gonna rip the bag open because it does feel like a blanket, I can't lie. Yeah, those are just blankets, unfortunately. Let's see what's in this thing right here. All these bottles look like they're labeled. Like, look at this. 1979 Planters Peanuts, 25 to $45 for that one bottle. This old coffee one. Does it have a price? Does it have a price on it? But it says 1987. This guy right here. This looks old. It says 1961. Something glass bottle. I can't see what it says. What does it say? I don't know. Amber? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> glass bottle. This guy, 1976. Again, a lot of these bottles are old and vintage. They can definitely be worth money. I'm trying to find some with a price tag for it. Like this guy. Nope, no price tag. It's from 1987. That's cool. Is this a Pepsi one? Is it? I can't tell if that's what it says. Wait, uh, let's see, glass bottle. Oh, no. please don't litter. No, it still doesn't have a price on it though. Only that one did for some reason. But I think overall, some of these are gonna be worth some big money. Look at that old root beer here. That still has the label on it. I bet you some of these are gonna be worth big cash. Now we got this uncovered, look at that. It's just sitting there. You hear it? Listen, it's saying, bust me open and see what's inside. We, don't, we will, don't worry. But we got this three tier wall mount sports rack. Looks like it's probably something that goes in the garage, hold all the sports balls and things like that, brand new in the box. Let's start going through some of these boxes. I don't know if this kid stuff is in here or it's just reseal filled with random stuff, but we're about to find out here. No, that's the table. That's brand spanking new kids table. There's something else right over here too. You see this? This is a, looks like a high chair. <laughs> There's a brand new inbox high chair can't beat that can you let's go into this box and see what we got i see a bunch of bags and usually the bags in this unit have been like nice stuff in good condition oh look here's a bag of bags no just random little wooden pieces to dog and cat gale okay is that an xbox game random guitar need to get this kind of guitar or can't use the game <laughs> fair enough good note to sell yeah all right whoa look at the star wars what are those it says unscreened video collector's edition from 2000. Never been open. Never been open. That's cool. Ooh, look. Oh, that's cool. First of all, that's like an old ad for Star Wars stuff. But I was talking about this. This 1992-1993 Star Trek Mac Play. It's like an old school computer game. Whoa, are these Elvis stamps? Look at that. Elvis Presley 20 cent stamps or whatever. These are cool. Mm-hmm. Definitely keep these aside. See, every time you see bags, I feel like it's really cool. More Wrath of the Khan Star Trek stuff. Look over here. Legends of the Silver Screen. What are these? I don't know, but it's in the package. Oh, so. the greatest stars. I'm gonna keep it. What about over here? Whoa, what are these? Whoa. Whoa, these are stocks. Railroad company. These are railroad stocks. Check this out. Hold on, a little one was. This is for grand total $877,000. Oh, okay, yeah. this is from 1975. What about this one? This is not the person's name that owns the unit. This is something of the Congress of the United States. I saw Wall of Tolerance. Um, is this the one? What is this one? Certificate of what? Ownership in something. Worth $1 million. Hmm. Okay, that sounds nice. This, look at that. 
the Baltimore, Ohio Railroad Company. These are stock, 1927 railroad stocks. That is so cool, actually. I, I love US history. I kind of want to keep a couple of these. Look at this. Baltimore, Ohio. These are all railroad stocks from the no, 1920s. Three different names, too. Yeah, that's sick. Can I go cash these, you think? It's just, what do you think those companies are worth now, you know? Yeah. Let's see. What else is over here? Whoa, okay. We got to open that in a second. Let's see. Puzzle pieces. There's like a Star Wars. What is that? Snake 99 Star Wars Episode 1 Phantom Menace. Doesn't say what it is. Just that figure, figure, I think. Yeah. And then we got. This is something wrapped up. Let's see if they labeled it. Dresser drawer. I don't know what your dresser drawer hand is. Over here. Come on. What do you got for me? These are all like dishes and stuff. Random blocks. And then there's another Star Wars figure. And the rest of it is like random cool sellable stuff mixed in with random pieces of hardware. We don't want the hardware, but we're definitely keeping all the cool stuff. Let's see what's in that brown case we set aside really quick. Come here. Come here. Yeah, there we go. Now it's time to see what's inside this guy. It's really old looking. Binoculars? Oh, come here. Like a really old pair of binoculars. It's missing one of the eye pieces in there. But I bet you just on age alone, that's definitely got some value. Check out some of these records here. This first stack here doesn't have any sleeves on them, but these do. What does that say down there? Uh, it's missing one record, but it has the others. Okay. So these are all labeled different things. Uh, Burt Camera Fit. How do you pronounce that? These are bigger than normal records. Though. These are like sets though. What does that say? Aloha Hawaii. And a couple of it. These down here look more like normal sized records and they're in there, I can see them. West Side Story, Jen, yeah, some of these are pretty good. Let's set that right here, then we'll go on over here. I set this aside because I don't know what the heck it is. It's just like a giant ball, I'm hoping somebody in the comments can help me, but it's heavy. Like it's not light, it's not like a decor piece. I don't know what the heck this thing is. It weighs a good amount though, but kind of cool. And of course, you can never have enough of these. Is that thing rolling away? Well, well, we'll find it another day. No, we'll get it later. Mm -hmm. But look at this knife. That is sick. And oops, more importantly. You see the outside. Look at the sheath, yeah. It looks really cool. Hmm. Definitely a nice guy there. And then we go to this box. Check it out. First off, I got this little bag of DS games. I don't even know what's in here exactly. I want to take them out and find out though. So let's pull them out, maybe. Let's just do it this way. Okay, I, I can open the bag. Oh look, I have this. Okay. Technology. We want to keep the bag. Nah. <laughs> Bags are for losers. So we have High School Musical. Yeah, I give up. There's a bunch of right here. Uh, what does that one say? Jonas. Uh, Jonas. Shrek. Dora. More kids stuff. Uh, Infinity. Tron. High School Musical. And what is that one? Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. That's a good little collection of games. And if you go over here, it's a huge horde of cars in there. These are Paw Patrol, True Metal too, by the way. Two of them are in there. And then we got us a little monster truck. This right here, ooh look, what is that? Toy Story 2 on Game Boy Color. <laughs> then we got another Paw Patrol, Rubble or Rumble. And then these are all Paw Patrol cars, aren't they? Look at that. There's one, two, three, four more. And then there's one, two, three more in the box. And then there's a little car right there. That's some epic stuff. Last video, we pointed this big old trunk out. And I finally was able to get to it to see what's inside. I'm hoping for more toys or collectibles of some sort. Oh, come on. That's not what I was hoping for. It's literally got nothing in it. Well, that stinks. This Power Ranger, check them out. Brand new, still in box right there. And then if we go to this box over here, let's see what we got in this guy. This one looks cool. What does it say? Ooh, is it a camera? Well, first off, we got us a little digital camera there. That's always a good thing. What is that, a watch too? What does it say there? John's watch. Nope, Jeebus' watch, you got it wrong. It's Michael Kors, actually. That's cool, that's a good one. This guy, what are these? Oh, look, they're like little Spider-Man figures. That's cool. Is this more figures? Oh yeah, the, these ones are Monsters, Inc. Little figures. This one is Spider-Man figures. This guy, I don't even know what those ones are. Uh, something figures. We'll say something figures. These guys, they look like Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah, that was my guess. Monsters, Inc., uh, Toy Story, and Buzz Lightyear. That's Toy Story too. <gasps> 90s Nicktoons, Patrick, Chucky, Rocco, Arnold, and Ren, or Stampy, sorry. Not Ren. Um, these look more like superheroes right there. Those are cool. What else is down here? Come here, yeah. 
What is that? Uh, my Macy's sock, uh, set of six coasters. That's random. 20 bucks though. This guy here. These are uh, Batman and there's Superman, Joker. Then this big old box here. Well, it's like a Snap Star. Somebody got it on clearance, but I bet you knew this is worth a good little bout of money too. This right here, it says Dalton's Collection Cars that's open. Oh, okay, so most of them were actually still in the packaging. These cars here are not, so that's why they're in here. Miscellaneous cars. Guitar Hero for Nintendo DS. What the heck? Nice. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. How does that work? I had it. Did you? Yeah. Drop some little cars here. Then some more random cars. What does that say? Put this back in the Powerpuff Girls DVD's case. <laughs> really? Like, you're gonna put a sticky note for that? Just do it. Uh, then a bunch of random little cars here. This is cool looking stuff. But the one I'm really excited to look into is this box back here, because I'm pretty sure I see video games. So let's first see if there's any Hot Wheels in the Hot Wheels case. How do I open it again? Over here. No. Uh, over here? I see it. Come here, yeah. Oh yeah, look, they're in plastic. Are they, they're new. Or no, they're probably put in here. This whole side's full on this side. Look at that, or at least I'd say 90%. Okay, I'm really wrong. Don't listen to my percentages. <laughs> half. But <laughs> about half. So half and half, that means the whole thing's probably about 50% too. But this right here, oh, I definitely see video games. First off, the plug and play, Namco. There's a Dragon Ball Z one of these. I still don't have it, Shenron. That's garbage. This here, SpongeBob one. I, I had, had this one. one. Me too. Oh my God, I see Nintendo. At least the controller. Let's see what's in this guy here. This is the adapter for an N64. Then in here we got, what is that? I can't tell what that Power is. Power I think. Oh look, there's the controller. So it has to be all N64 in that one bag. Yeah, so it's probably should put it back in there, huh? Let's keep all the Nintendo 64 stuff together. I see the OG two NES controllers, Xbox 360, oh my God. GameCube, baby. Look at that, the GameCube console right there. That's beautiful. This right here, is that an alarm clock, really? Okay. Put an alarm clock with video games. <gasps> Nintendo cartridges. Let's see what these are. Hold on, let me open them up. Come here, you. We have, I'll put them back in there in a second. There's something else in that wrapped up right here. I'll get to that in a second. But this is Akinoi, whatever that is. It looks like Tetris or something. Bla uh, Blaster Master, Ninja Raider, or Ninja Gaiden, sorry. Kung Fu, Mickey Mouse Escape. And Karate Champ. I think it's going to be an N64 cartridge in here. <gasps> Pokemon Stadium! Oh, look at that. Pokemon for Nintendo 64. That's a good find. I'll put this right here for it. That's another plug and play. This one's DreamWorks. So let's put that over here. This is the one I had as a kid that I remember the most. I love this little plug and play right here. This guy. Deal or no deal. <laughs> That's a cool one. I used to love that game. I never had that. This one is Frogger. I had that one. Frogger. I saw green. I was hoping it'd be Shenron. This is the little gun with for the NES. That's cool. Is that a 64? Ah! A Nintendo 64 console in there. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is a good freaking box right here. This is another alarm clock. Okay, we don't want the alarm clocks, dude. How long was Brandon looking for one? <laughs> Remember what happened? He bought one and I told him as soon as he buys it, next unit I buy, I'll have it. Next unit I bought, here it is. I'm gonna set it aside anyway, just to show. This right here, that's an Xbox 360 controller. Let's see what's wrapped up in this guy. Something's wrapped up in here. Oh, is this a cable box? A magna box, not sure what that is, but there it is. Hey, if you haven't stopped and left this video a thumbs up and subscribed yet, what are you doing? Make sure you get that done. Look at this box here. You think we have enough cars? No, the answer is heck no. These are all Nicely labeled, 241 out of 365. Probably, I'd say, what, 40, 50 cars right there? Yeah, Let's open up. a couple of these right here and see what's in these two. They look like they're going to be other cars, but I'm kind of curious to see what they are. That's a mail truck. Mail truck. Look at that, a USPS mail truck. That's kind of cool. There's another bunch of cars down here. What does that say? Black Dom, charger. Black charger. Oh, it's probably a other car. cars. Yeah. I'm sitting there thinking phone charger. Good Wait, luck. Yeah, I'm not getting the tape off those, but a charger, a red car. This one is Brian's blue car. I like how everyone has a different name. I know. Green, red, something, flag. So there are a bunch of cars there. We'll just put them over here. This box has more. I'm just gonna transfer cars over. Look, more Hot Wheels, more Hot Wheels. There's three more Hot Wheels. Looks like we got us another stack of records right here as well. One, not in the case. All the rest are in the case. But all these cars 
we're just gonna transfer into this box and it's just freaking full oh look some of these are like batman you see that mm -hmm. 2014 batman they all are labeled too i've never seen such a toy unit like so organized i mean there's probably 10 right there in my hand there's another one there's look dark knight oh, i don't want to break this box dark knight all of these right there man this is crazy there's a bunch of junky magazines in here but under the magazines guess what there is more cars oh more cars <laughs> come on look at that bang and bang on that side too just a ton oh my gosh there's more paw patrol cars too Another level. look at that this is insane we probably have a thousand cars out of this unit i would bet total in all three parts, I bet you there's over a thousand. There's another Paw Patrol. Watch, there's tax already. In, oh, there's tax everywhere. But all the rest you can see, those are all more cars. Look at this little box here. Dragonfly Optical Viewer. Well, since I can't open bags and gloves, we just got to destroy them. Oh, uh, what is it though? Hmm, I'm curious. Uh, that looks old. Mm -hmm. Bet you that's cool, actually. I'm going to definitely put that aside. Let's go into here. This says, ooh, old, old Barbie. Barbie. Oh, I don't want to damage it. Let's rip off this paper. Use that knife. Very gently. We're just going to kind of very gently do it. All right. There we go. That should allow us to get into it. Oh, they're not lying either. She looks old. She looks very old. Come here. Come out. There is a Barbie doll from Holiday Season Barbie. Special edition. Well, from what year is the question? It doesn't specify, but you can tell in the box. 1996. Two years after I was born. That's pretty cool. Let's go further in this bag. Oh, little game there. Oh, these are all toys, I think. Let's see. Oh, yeah. These are like old toys. Little tiny handheld games. These McDonald's or... I don't know what they are. I would That's say a, these probably are. Yeah. The other ones, not so much. But still cool. And this whole... Oh, man. Another stack of probably 50 to 100 records let's go into this bag it looks like it might be old vintage mcdonald's toy speaking of mcdonald's oh yeah remember when they made these they yeah. look like the vhs boxes of um snow white what is that one alice in wonderland aladdin so these are old mcdonald's toys all the way around this one is something stone sword in the stone sword in the stone i wasn't a disney person growing up there's a mcdonald's fries superman that's pretty cool bunch of other little trucks little cars all around yeah i think that oh pikachu a little nice. pikachu with the hat on that's pretty cool mcdonald's toy here see what else i got though this is the squidward machine right a clarinet a clarinet am i the only one please tell me in the comments if i'm the only one i only associate clarinet with squidward from spongebob there's no other like use for it in the world <laughs> besides squidward but i bet you it's worth a good amount of money let's go into this box these look like some really old books like oh look at this whoa these are really old i thought they were coin sets at first but this is let's see inaugural address white house taft to gw bush never been open that's cool life of um tom horn lakeside never been open whoa these are cool all right this one what does that say 20 years before the mast never or actually that has been open look at this harry potter Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, 1999. Is this like a first edition? That might be worth money. They have it in there. Some of these other ones down here, let's see. Just more books. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to probably go through a lot of these and make sure they're not first editions. First edition books can be worth like thousands of dollars. What does this say? What is that one called? I can't read it. Dragonfly in amber. <laughs> you have a dragonfly? <laughs> yeah, but... I wish I had a little spark. Like spark from Spyro. That'd be yeah. so cool. It follows me around. Like I'm tired right now because I've been moving. I'd be on like blue health maybe. <laughs> Something like that. But I bet you there's definitely some good first edition money in there. Check out a little SpongeBob foam party machine. Look at that tag up there. Toys are us, man. That's really cool. I don't even know what I'd use this for, but because it's SpongeBob and really niche, I feel like that could definitely have value. That is another sealed box of records. I'm not even gonna open it. It's just gonna go straight to our whatnot auctions. Look at this box right here. These are literally all oh. Xbox games. Who wants to be a millionaire? Come on. Broken case, nice. but it's in there. I'm gonna open like two or three, then we're just gonna run through them. NBA 2K17, yes, man. Oh, Ew, advanced not advanced warfare. warfare. They're all in there. Oh, wow. Let's see, <laughs> Dance Central 3. Had a dark time in my life with that game. Uh, <laughs> Resident Evil 5, Far Cry 4, that's a good game. Fallout 3 is an even better game. That's one of my all time favorite console games ever. Prototype, ah, stop it. Prototype 2, uh, one and two. Then Connect Sports. 
Then let's see what else is over here. Oh yeah, there's a whole sassy gears. Skate 2, Call of Duty Black Ops Collection. Oh, that's that's worth it. money actually. This is like a thick twenty or thirty dollar game. Hmm. Angry Birds, Gears of War two and Gears of War three. Then we have what else is over here? FIFA Soccer. Well that one is Battlefield three, just not in its original case. FIFA Soccer twelve. What is this? There's something in there. Come here. Oh Pikachu. a little Pikachu token. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna keep it. Put it Why did I have a hard, such a hard time opening those as a kid? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Did you? No. Oh god, I feel alone now. <laughs> I didn't want to lie. There's <laughs> pictures. What about this? Oh, Forza Motorsport Racing. And then there's some random like drawings and things like that at the bottom. Look at this little bag here. That's like brand new Batman stuff. Hey, look, some brand new Scentsy things. I always call it Scentsy. I know it's not the right brand, but that's just what they melters. are. Wax melters. <laughs> Over here, we got new cards. I don't know what game that is, but that. I think, ooh, look at that. That's an old one. It's Bakugan. Is that what that one is? That one's like a superhero thing. That one says football cards here. Ooh, those are Pokemon right there. That's a holographic one as well. And there's some baseball. These ones are country or something. Weird cards. Like, there's some really... I feel like they're so random. This whole thing's full of cards all the way back. But they're so random, they could really be valuable. A dash cam? Hey, dash cam. That's good stuff. In here, we have like a stack of baseball hats. Or football hats, I guess. Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys. What is that one? It looks, I don't know. I don't know. That one, Jordan, and Miami Dolphins. Okay, Cowboys and Dolphins. What a gross combo. There's another little deck of cards. These are NASCAR cards. Little rainbow beanie baby. What is this? A chain? It says, is it Tupac chain? Looks like it says Tupac, doesn't it? Looks like I see PAC. Yeah, me too. Let's see. I'm gonna open it up and find out. Imagine if it's just gold and diamonds. It's like one of Tupac's actual chains worth like hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> no, not really. But yeah, look, it says Tupac on a That's pistol. A and this one right here is like a little. Hold it up again. Like that. Nice. And this one's just a little bracelet. Those are all pretty cool. Guess what I got? Titsy rolls. But this one says stamps. This one says coins in plastic. Let's, let's look in the stamps one first. Come here, stamp. Well, they're not long. Okay, they're not like old stamps. No, they're just actual stamps, it looks like. Okay. okay, well, if we gotta send some letters out, I'm ready to go. But the coin one is what I'm really interested in. Oh, yes, it is. Should we see that? Nice. Dump them up. Let's dump it out. Why? Okay, they have them marked down to like the mint marks and everything. And I don't know enough about them to know if these mint marks are something like a 1965 quarter. I thought 64 was silver. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. 1965. This guy thinks it's 1965. He might be right. Mm -hmm. I can't grab it. 1965. A lot of, if they, if they are, there's a lot of silver in there, but there's just a bunch of random coins in there. What I want to know really is these little bags with the Superman on them, what are they actually meant for? You know, it's just a yeah. little suspicious. Bunch of pennies. Look at this one. This one has a label here. 1988D. It's bigger than it usually is. The D is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gosh, I shouldn't have read that. <laughs> How do I not laugh at that? How do I not laugh at that? Okay, and then the rest of it's just a bunch of random coins all the way through. Definitely some money there. Let's look inside it. Here really quick. This says Christmas presents. What do you got for Christmas? Okay, that's where the rainbow Beanie Baby came from. So we have some Beanie Babies here. Let's set these guys aside. This here, let's rip it open and see. Come here, what is that? Oh, it's more Batman stuff. We just found one of these not long ago, but it's in the bag, so. Okay, well, if we didn't have enough cars, here's some, it says extras on it. We probably have a thousand, like I think. I think total in the unit is probably more than a thousand cars. This is more new stuff, more new and bad clothes. So this is all just like new, so this is probably literally what it says, Christmas presents. Like a little princess set. Maybe we can leave that for all those people who leave hate comments to us. Mm -hmm. Little cell phone and keys for kids. Fire truck. There's, these are all, nothing here is really gonna be expensive or nothing. This is good stuff to just give away to some kids, really. The holidays are coming up, so maybe we'll give this stuff away. A lot of little toys in here, like Lipaholic makeup, uh, color fiesta, like lip gloss, and the little uh, bracelet making stuff. This is all brand new, good stuff. These are more magazines in plastic. Look, we have wrestling. Oh boy, what does that say? Calendars. And oh, oh, these old dare ones. I remember when this was so big when I was in elementary school. Oh my gosh, remember these? Yeah, I do. Oh my gosh. So these are just old vintage magazines again they have everything labeled and everything 
So we'll definitely have to do some research on these, but just like last time, I think there's gonna be some money to be made. And look at this silver case. I've been waiting to get into it. You know why? It's labeled GameStop. So maybe it's like a disc holder for games. Let's see. Is that a DS? Is that a DS? That's a DS XL. DS nice. XL. All right. Nice. That's cool. It's got the charger right there too. We actually tested it. That doesn't cool. happen very often. No, it doesn't. Hey, look, and we have two games. Mario, oh, Kart, Mario DS. Kart. Oh my gosh. It's in there, but it's upside down. Uh, well, it's the little sticker's gone off of it. Oh. And then we have Phineas and Fur. I think Phineas and Fur was, that was in that. That was loose. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. So that's pro no, it's in there, actually. Okay. So this is probably easy. 50 to to $100 just right there. Remember we found this locked safe earlier? We tried the key we found last video, and it didn't fit. So I just wonder if there's a way to get into this super secure safe. You know, like dropping it from about six feet on its corner? <laughs> How the theft proof? Oh my God. Oxygen. <laughs> that's, that's literally all that's in the safe. It's actually empty. That's, that's pretty valuable. sad. I mean, I, we, you do need oxygen to live. <laughs> what else could you have found in there that you need to live? I think it's pretty cool. This unit has been insane, but there's also been a ton of garbage. Now it's kind of dark out. You see this truck? That's the garbage, minus this right here. That's new in box, actually. A hyper tough five drawer rolling tool cabinet. Brand spanking new in box. Because of the mice, you know, if anything's dirty, we just get rid of it. I don't want to gamble it. Even though we've gone through the whole unit, look over there. Literally nothing left, and I never seen one. So they were in and out, I guess. Except for the dead one. Except for the dead one. <gasps> Cash box. Cash box. Oh, you ready? Does it yeah. open? Oh, it does open. Oh. Oh, come on. Really? Why do you just have lighters in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, fair. that's junk. This is just a belt. What else is over here? Let's see, what is this guy? Emmett Smith, is that like a signed plaque or card or something? Get out of there, buddy. It's wrapped in bubble wrap. It looks like it's just a little plaque, like a card with his name in it, mm -hmm. on it and stuff like that. You see it? No. No? Let me open the it up all the wrap. way. Huh? The bubble wrap. Give me a second. Look at that. Emmett Smith, that's pretty cool. We'll set that aside right here. Let's go back over here. Ooh, look, that looks like it's got something in it or sounds like it has something in it too. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, empty actually. Dang it. Now let's go a little deeper down in this box here. Another one, who's this guy? I'm not gonna open this one. This is Emmett, Emmett Smith, Smith again, again, but this is a Wheaties box plot. Okay, let's keep pulling stuff out. Well, this is broken, whatever it is. It sounds like glass. Uh, yeah, that's destroyed unfortunately put it there um vhs is over there that's just some wires right there well that's oh never mind. i thought that was an extracurricular activity device but no. <laughs> let me go further yeah it looks like all the rest of this thing what what, what is that oh uh, stopwatch <laughs> uh, yeah stopwatch a normal watch and the rest of it looks like it's just random stuff this tote right here i see a wee box in it so I'm hoping, oh i see all wee stuff so i think we've got a good one here well first this is kind of random. Uh, Precious Moments Victory by Avon. Okay. But besides that, oh, whoa, well, look at that. Whoa. Look at that. Those are all Wii games and PlayStation 3. I see Grand Theft Auto 3. What are the PlayStation? I mean, PlayStation 2. Sorry. I didn't mean to say PlayStation 3. I meant to say I see three PlayStation 2 games. That was a tongue twister. GTA 3 and football and um, Crash Bandicoot. That's nice. So these are all Nintendo Wii games. But the big question is it, that weight is right, actually. I think we have a Nintendo Wii. I think we do too. Let's see. Come here, buddy. Get out. There we go. Open up the box. Let's see. Come out. Maybe. Maybe we'll see. Come here. It's one of the Mario ones too, which is better. Yeah, let's pull it. Look at that. It's in there. I'm not even going to take it out. No. <laughs> Nintendo Wii console with probably 20 plus games right there. Easily over 100 bucks. Let's go into this tote right here. Oh, let's see what's inside. Ooh, he's all, this is not more video game stuff. Look, Thomas the Train, isn't that what this is? Yeah. yeah, it's one of those home games. Okay, is this one? Another Frogger? Another Frogger. Nice. Frogger, alarm clock, uh, another like router. 1959 Radio Fisher Price toy. That's cool. That's definitely cool. Here goes another plug and play right here. TV Namco one. This one, is that another one? Spider-Man. We're getting all kinds of these plug and plays, huh? <laughs> this here. What the heck is like a little old radio? What are all these things in plastic? These are books, 1990 April Avon. Okay, so those are more collector books. Definitely something we'll have to look through. Let's go to this one now. Okay, first on top we have whatever the heck this is. It says cars again, but it looks like some type of software. So let me grab the knife and slice it open to see if it's cars or software. 
Uh, I don't really know what would be more valuable, honestly. It depends on what the software is and depends <laughs> on what the cars are. Right. So let's just open it up and see. And find out if it'll open. It's like, no, nah, we're fighting, dude. We are fighting. You gotta get the size, I think. No, I don't. You just gotta be <laughs> aggressive with it. Oh, look at that. They're actually all cars in little bags. That's a good start. Now let's see what's actually in the stove that was underneath of it. Are these all like McDonald's? Oh no, this looks like an old Transformer, doesn't it? I think that could be an old Transformer there. And then there's, oh yeah, a bunch of random little toys again that are just in bags and things like that. So the toys, they could be worthless or they could be worth hundreds a piece. Transformers again right here. Transformers again, it looks like over here. All kinds of Transformers in there. So this is definitely a keeper. Let's look inside this little padded box here. What is that? Ooh, is this the jewelry box? There's definitely some jewelry on top and another key, weirdly enough. There's just random keys in this unit. Let's set that aside. Oh, first haircut. We'll give, we'll give that with the other stuff to make sure they get it back. This, ooh. Uh-oh, might have found a jewelry. What is that? That, it looks like it could be gold though. I know that. We're gonna set that over here with the box. This is, ooh, look down here. That looks like it could be a necklace, doesn't it? Let's see. Oh, it's a watch. Genuine ruby. Nice. That's nice. 18 karat gold over sterling silver genuine ruby. Wow. That's nice. That's super nice. And then we got some random DVDs in here. Oh, I see more jewelry. Look, look, look. Let's pull these out right here. Let me hear you. Red one. What's it got in there? Oh, nice. Three. Dang, there's the rings. Let's see if we can see markings in there. Oh, yeah, these are gold. It looks like it says 14 karat. I can't read it for sure. I'm like 90% sure it's 14 karat. I bet you these are going to be gold rings. That's pretty sick. Let's go over here. Look at this. Let's, let's see what's in here. Come here, buddy. Open up. It's oh, random stuff, actually. Phone card, nothing, a phone, and contacts. Weird. What about even further down? Is this the one I just opened? It? Another one. What? That's a different one. I yeah. thought you said it on the outside. I thought it's right here. Yeah, look, this one's from K Jewelers. That's super cool. The box is a little beat up, but that's okay. I don't think you went in here either. No, we're about to see right now. It's heavy. Oh, oh well, that's what not jewelry. That? Junk. All right, let's keep looking though. They're refining jewels like this guy here. Premier design. Oh, that's a nice watch. That looks pretty cool. Set it aside. Let's see if there's any more buried in here. Random junk, random junk. Nah, nothing else. It's a checkbook right here. Well, money. Oh, money. Look, a 1930, it's a few dollars in there. These are silver certificates. A 1935 $1 bill, 1935E, 1935D, 1935F. All <laughs> silver certificates. That's pretty cool. Other than that though, yeah, the rest in there is just junk. Look at all these little tiny figures in here. This whole box is loaded. Look, there's Woody. There's one of the Ninja Turtles. There's another figure. These are like probably 25, I'd say. And those little figures in here, literally all brand new in the package. This bag right here is literally more of the same exact figures we just showed, plus some other ones. These are um, oh. Nikki Bella from WWE. These are some Superman Hot Wheel cars. But this whole bag's probably got another 30 plus figures slash cars in it, all brand new in the package. Let's go into this box right here. It's labeled Beanie Babies, and I'm really curious to see if it's actually that full of them. Oh my gosh, it is. Look at that, and they're all individually in their own package. Let's just take one out. It's got some of these ones that are in the plastic, and it's got some just, you know, normal Beanie Babies, but this thing's Courage 2001, September 11th, 2001. Courage Dog. Huh, that's kind of that's kind of weird and cool, but yeah, this whole box is literally completely full of Beanie Babies. Look at the SpongeBob book bag. It says on there Leapfrog Games and Systems. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think that's exactly what it is. Actually, this looks like one of those old Leapfrog. Need games for this system? Well, I mean, yeah. I guess that means the system's in here, right? Let's that, see. I guess so. It's Leapfrog. Yeah, these aren't cheap. See it? No. That's in there. <laughs> If you go in here, oh, the games are right here. And there's some Xbox games. Look at, uh, these aren't Xbox games. Never mind, they're Leapfrog. <laughs> the I just green. saw the green, yeah. But these are actually Bob the Builder, Dora, and other uh, Leapfrog games in there. So I'll just put the systems in the game. It's one big lot. This one's just labeled car stuff. I don't know if that means like stuff for a real car or if it's more car toys, but there's only one way to find out. And that didn't even have a slash across the middle, did it? Nope. <laughs> I just sliced the box for no good reason, other than I was used to it. I think this might be more toys. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Oh no, this is actual car stuff. You see that? Yeah. It's like a tablet holder. There's the little like Jesus fish and 
across. Yeah, this is actual car stuff. I mean, it's probably still 10 bucks worth of stuff in there, so I'm not complaining. Look at this, old books from the 1800s. Let's slice it open and see. We'll call it a couple of these. Older antique books. Oh, on this side it just says old books sell. Well, they're selling them, so that should mean maybe they have prices on them. Hopefully we can see what their prices say. Uh, I first want to see, I see their little notebook paper on there, but I can't read it, so let's go find out. Maybe if we can get into it. There's a pincher bug in there. Be careful. Where is he? It's alive. Where? Right here. Oh, is he? Ew. Not alive no more. Ew, it's got <laughs> Arrest me. <laughs> this right here is a bunch of old books. They're not priced though, but they are really old. 1896. Wow. This one right here is 1888, 1950. These are definitely researched. They're definitely going in a good pile. Last video, we found two big Native American figures and we found one more in the back, but this one feels more wooden, but it's definitely a good quality, handmade looking figure. This looks like more Sports Illustrated. Yeah, Sports Illustrated. They're all labeled by date, but I don't know if that means they're worth anything. So again, this is gonna be have something, have to be something that we look into and look up, but I think there's money in them. One more tote, let's see what's in this guy. It just says, oh toy, oh. Oh, oh toys. There we go, more, oh. It's got something in it. I gotta see what's in this little box, I really do. Let's see, open up, yeah. It is, oh, not opening. No, there it goes. <laughs> Come on, open up, you. Oh, what oh. the heck are those? Tiddlywinks? What the heck is a tiddlywink? Somebody help me in the comments, please. <laughs> somebody all right then if you look down in here oh my gosh look there's a wolverine it's mixed like so action much. figures watch it what's this i don't know let's pull it out and find out a big old monster truck this has a lot of cool stuff in it it's literally just a mix of action figures plushes um another tinkly wink whatever the heck it's called i don't even know bunch of cool toys definitely worth some money for those of you that ever thought about buying a completely packed 10 by 10 storage unit you're wondering what percentage of this stuff is good what percentage of this stuff is bad here's a 15 foot u-haul right right this 15 foot u-haul is packed to this level that's garbage that's garbage and again that is because this unit had mice in it at one point you want to know where the good stuff is here's our rental minivan over here that's all the super good stuff, the really high end stuff, the stuff that was clean and not dirty, that's that. The only thing in there that we're keeping is that tool chest. Other than that, look at this. Can you believe this? This unit <laughs> is freaking empty. We're here in Echo now. Ever get here in Echo. But that was one fun unit for 1300, guys. Make sure you follow us on Whatnot for our upcoming auctions and make sure you subscribe. And until next time, peace out.